Hi, this is Suze 11 Tarot. Now, I just did a Taurus reading and some interesting things came out. Scorpio came out, Taurus came out. I felt Aries energy. Um, all right, so then I shuffled the cards and I was like, I left those there and then I shuffled the cards and I was like, who's next? And so Aries came out, healing, Pisces, then uh, first house, self, Taurus, the bombshell, trine, flow, perception, third house, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay, so I want to talk about that. But first, I got this book. <laughs> okay, Everyday Gratitude. Okay. All right, look, I turned to a page and guess what came out? Face your own complexity. How am I complex? Are there gifts in these complexities? Okay. All right. Okay, so we can always bring what feels complex uh, to something very simple, right? Um, yeah, and... Yeah, you can bring it, and, and a lot of times nature, if you look into nature, you can bring it back to simplicity. <clears throat> okay, all right. So I want to talk about this. Okay, so I just did a Taurus reading, and the Taurus reading, it seemed like um, the past what was not <clears throat> vibing with the Aries energy very well. Okay, so uh, I want to talk about that. So I think it had to do with um, Taurus wanted to be more of a homebody type, and then the Aries was being the independent self, doing what he always does. It might be the boss type, you know? And then that was like, that clashed and caused divorce. Okay. All right, because... <clears throat> Okay, so Taurus is a bombshell type too, so that means there are other suitors there, and that might have caused problems between the Aries-Taurus uh, connection. Now, it didn't have to be an Aries. It could have been like a Gemini or something. Okay, but um, because air sign kept coming out. Okay, uh, it didn't have to be a Gemini. Gemini. When Gemini came up, it felt like more like twin energy, and that's how I pick up twin energy. Twin energy is... Uh, there's some aspects of self that need, that um, is desired to raise or rise for the next experience. And sometimes they come together to kind of sh show each other the way. All right, so. Um, okay, so healing needed to happen there. Okay, and then, um, okay, so... Um, I, Okay, and wanting to pursue dreams. Now, that could have been interpreted into a relationship. Wanting to pull in the non-physical dream into the physical reality. So that could have been interpreted into Aries being with a Pisces, uh, Aries energy being with Pisces. So it could be any sign, okay? But Scorpio showed up, so it might have been a water sign here, because this was right here. Okay, so water sign... Okay, um, yeah, anyone in that emperor energy, okay, and um, so there needed to be healing, okay, so then, um, so my, Pisces might have been called in, okay, to kind of remind that boss, boss energy to be more flexible, and ethereal and remember to pull in uh from your non-physical reality okay all right <clears throat> okay so that could have all interpreted into love relationships okay all right now i see as the scorpio energy is balancing out any earth and uh, earth and water, earth, okay, kind of Scorpio energy balancing out 
okay, these, uh, some of these other energies, uh, like Virgo, maybe Taurus. Okay, so wanting loyalty from a partner. Okay, oh, Cancer's here too. <laughs> okay, wanting loyalty from the partner. Okay, um, someone who's deep. Okay, and uh, understanding of emotions. Okay, is what I'm picking up. Okay, so... Okay, now what happened here with the Taurus Aries energy, um, the entanglement, and maybe Pisces, because that's lined up here. Okay, so maybe this combo somehow, and this combo somehow. Okay, uh, now <clears throat> there may have been someone who had a blown out sense of self. Some there may have been somebody who didn't have any self esteem. Okay, so um, that combo coming together is one saying to the other, Okay, let's balance this out. Okay, and then that could turn into entanglement. Okay, if that's not understood. Okay, so and, and how does it become understood? Communication. Okay. So go with the flow, okay? Coming together, go with the flow because the union might be uh, showing you there's something that you need to kind of uh, work on self to reach your highest potential, okay? Um, yeah, relationships not are not necessarily um, all about love, okay? Um, they're about other things too. Okay, so perception, being open-minded, okay, and perception. Okay, um, watching speech, thoughts, social media, okay, dating, okay, it says street life, discussions, and sociability. Okay, so looking out mainly, I think, for social media, media, speech, and thoughts. That seems like a, a theme this past couple of days. Okay, so with that said, I did Taurus, so I'm going to go into Aries. Now... This reading might be a water sign that's holding energy. Uh, water sign that's holding Aries energy. Okay. Because look. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so now this tells me something. If I did a reading and it, the same thing comes out again, that means I, I didn't tap into a block of energy that wants to be revealed. Okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> what do I do now? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. So, you know what? I'm going to approach Aries Scorpio and then Aries Pisces and Aries Cancer. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay. Whew. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let me get a sip of coffee here for a minute. <laughs> I was going to do a short read and I was like, okay, I'll just do a short read and then I'll, I'll do my yoga mat. I should have did my yoga mat first. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to do Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Harnessing that Aries energy and... Hopefully, I'll tap into it and it won't show up tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so let's do Aries and Scorpio.
Aries and Scorpio. Okay, no. You know what? I'm just going to pull them all out at once. Okay, then we can look at the big picture. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. I'm going to do Aries, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, and Aries, Cancer. All at one thing. And then let's look at the big picture. Okay, all right. Let's see what is going on. Whew, I hope I can tap into it. There's something still... Okay, give me a minute, okay? I'm going to try to go there. Wait, I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. <laughs> I meant, you know, into in within. Hold on. Okay, so now let me, I'm going to first, before I flip these cards, I usually do it the other way around. I usually look at the words and then, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to look into uh, what it is saying here. Okay, at the core of the water signs... Uh, there is a feeling here that is like feeling alone. Okay, so um, this is just for, I'm not saying this is everybody, but I'm just saying whoever shows up here. Okay, all right. Uh, there is a sense of feeling alone. Okay, here. Okay. All right. Now, you're never alone. Spirit is always with you. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Actually, being alone feels really good here. <laughs> Okay, not wanting to be alone, but then calling forth people to be with you just because you don't want to feel alone. I think that is causing some entanglement. Okay, so what I'm suggesting is um, even when you feel like you don't want to be alone, be alone. Make that choice to be alone and tune into your heart. Ooh, yeah. Dig deep mm, in that heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by practicing being alone more, when you come into your partner, okay, your next partner, or coming... Okay, some of you have a partner, but you're going to be able to come in more fully when you um, do that. This is for the water sign. Okay. All right. Now. Okay, so hangman energy is here. Okay, so it looks like uh, you are taking time. 
okay, enjoying life, okay, listening to music, flying high, okay, okay, and see how, okay, so if you believe in the angels and spirit, I would uh, tap into that. Okay, looks like they are calling you in a certain direction. Okay. So that alone time is really benefiting you. Okay, especially uh, now to the mid-August. Okay, horses at play. <laughs> There's a theme of needing more playfulness, more um outdoor activity okay um mm -hmm. okay so that is just having fun and living life okay and interacting okay um you might look into horse totem also but that is gonna help you be that your god self okay All right. Okay, so, all right, so if you're that God self, go in towards your divine cart, uh, div divine counterpart. Okay. Oh, I want to keep these in order because I want to flip them. Okay, using perception, okay, um, this is not your physical eye, but using your internal perception to pull in what you desire to union. Okay, so the message here is if you're Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, okay, um, if you, you've interacted with any of these energies, um, it might be just saying, okay, let's be flexible and playful and um, come together in harmony, okay? See from different perspective, from the heart internal perspective, the internal eyes, okay? Um, not necessarily with uh, what you saw with your eyes, okay? All right. Okay, because some sticky situations can happen, even if what you see with your eyes, you know? Like, you've seen those funny comedies, right? Where, um, you know, things happen, and it's totally innocent, but then it looks, um, it looks something other than that. Right, so, um, open mind, keeping an open mind, and um, being in a natural state of forgiveness. Okay. All right, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. <laughs> I hope that was uh, helpful. Okay, let's see. Timing. Okay, timing, passion, and seed. Okay, so instead of... Uh, keep on planting those new seeds. Flow in your divine timing and be passionate about what you're doing. Okay, play... Play, playing can bring in transformation and, okay, what's this procrastination? Okay, yes, stop focusing on your problems and excuses. Take a small step to do something constructive. Okay, anytime you catch yourself in your mind going bonkers, okay, stop and focus on your passions and planting new seeds. Okay. Okay, resurrection, patience, and contest. Let's see what that says. Okay. Reconsider a project or recall a person from the past to resurrect an idea. 
Creativity takes time and sometimes a project can seem to be taking too long or seem, seem to be failing, but it's not. You just have to have patience and trust. Okay. All right. So, contest. Be yourself fully and you are, without compare, a true winner of the only contest that matters. Okay. Which is self-love. Okay. All right. So, let's talk about resurrection for a minute. Okay. That would be the Scorpio energy. Okay. All right, so when people cross over, what happens? What happens when people cross over, okay? Okay, so let me um, ask my dad, okay? Hold on. Okay, so, okay, so he's wearing like this yukata, which is like a Japanese uh, bathhouse getup that you wear, it's cotton usually. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I'm getting is, uh, you kind of release your senses, you know, um, that's the touching feeling and all that. So, uh, he does, he does not miss. That's not the right word. Hold on. When he was an earthling, <coughs> when he was an earthling, he enjoyed, um, he enjoyed his beer the most and his, um, the uh what is that oh eating okay eating was a joy great joy the sensation of it okay <laughs> okay all right so where are we going with that i was going somewhere with that okay okay so um let's see how we're doing on the time real quick okay i get in the zone and then i lose track of time okay all right so let me make this real quick Scorpio, resurrection. Okay, so um, this this would be a Scorpio card in the tarot deck, right? Okay, what does it mean to resurrect? Well, oh no, it could be what judgment to. Okay, anyway, so Scorpio card is the death card. Okay, so when you die and resurrect, what does that mean? When you die a physical death, then uh, then you release all resistance. Okay, you release all resistance and all the things that you've been using to um, not feel good. Okay, that's all released. Okay, so my message here today is you don't have to leave your physical body, okay, to resurrect yourself. Release the resistance, the things that's causing you resistance in your life now. Release those things. Okay, and uh, it takes a moment-to-moment -moment practice, perhaps, to do that. But you can, you don't have to die a physical death to do that, okay? And then coming into your fullness, which is a love combined with wisdom, okay? So um, that is the transformation there in August. And that may interpret into all, any one of these signs coming together. Okay, or these signs harnessing the Aries, the boss energy. Okay, all right, so let me read the Aries energy real quick. Active, self-starting, daring, fierce, assertive, fiery, exhilarating, innocent. Okay, so now a lot of times they want to pull in that fire, the water signs, to pursue their dreams and wishes, right? That's why Pisces came up. Okay, so sometimes that interprets in attracting a fire sign, okay? But here we have Aries. Okay, so remembering to be flexible. Okay, assertive, fiery, exhilarating. Okay, innocent. 
but on a mission. Bossy, okay, watching that boss energy. Okay, driving, courageous, selfish. Okay, it's important to be selfish to a certain degree, but we can always look into that daily and ask, okay, am I balanced with my selfishness? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, okay, so now instead of being argumentative, okay, and um, okay, um, you can take pauses in conversations with each other, okay, and um, okay, and listen more is what I'm picking up. Okay, that has been your love reading, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries. <laughs> I hope I touched that. Uh, okay, thank you.